Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and today we're here to review AEW All Out 2021. Guys, before we get into the show, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And just get, let's get this channel to 200 subscribers. I was going to say something and I've totally forgot what it was, so I... Um, I <laughs> it's been a long day. Also guys, before we get started, quick announcement... On the 24th of September, it's going to be 48 hours and I'm going to be walking 100 miles. Um, so I'm giving myself 48 hours to finish 100 miles. I'm going to try and get it done in about 36. But I'm giving myself that extra just, you know, for sleep and stuff like that. Uh, so that is going to be from the 24th of September for 48 hours. So content might be a little bit less at that point. I'm going to pre-record a few things to get uploaded on those days. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy that when those kind of come around. And let's get into AEW All Out. So, the buy-in. We kind of get a 10-man tag match. Best Friends, Jurassic Express versus Hardy and crew. Jungle Boy is the one who gets the win here. So, Best Friends, Jurassic Express get the win. 1.5 stars. It, it, it's pretty much just putting 10 guys in the ring, letting them have a match. It was what it was. It was fun. It was okay. Nothing very special. And at this point, I was like, let's hope this isn't what's going to continue throughout the night, being nothing special. I'm glad I was wrong. Uh, so the TNT Championship match, the first match actually on the card, we get Miro versus Eddie Kingston. What a match. Miro gets a win. Three stars. These guys put everything out there. Um, just a fantastic match, top to bottom. I loved it. I'm loving Miro's work so much at the minute. Um, and this was just fantastic. Then we've got John Moxley and Kojima. Moxley gets the win, as I kind of expected. 2.5 stars for this one. Good action, fun match, a good watch. But for some reason, it never got out of that 2.5 for me. It just never got out of that uh, that level for me. Then we got the AEW Women's World Championship. Britt Baker versus uh, Chris Statlander. Baker gets a win, 2.5. The only reason I'm giving this a 2.5 and not a 3 is I never believed that Baker was going to get get the L here. She was always going to get the win. It was an awesome match from top to bottom. Again, it was fun. Both women worked very well. I'm really just waiting to see Baker against Thunder Rosa. Again, for the belt, I think that'll be a lot... A, a, cool, a really cool feud that we could get going there. But this one, it was good. Just I didn't believe... Statlander was going to take that belt off Baker at all. Then we get the Steel Cage match. You all know I love Steel Cage. Uh, it's for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers. The Bros get the win. Thank God. Uh, 3.5 stars. This probably is match of the night for me. I really enjoyed this one. And you all know I'm not a Young Bucks fan. This was fantastic. Um, the belt needed to change hands here. 100% because people are just getting tired of the Young Bucks. But... This was fun. It really, really was fun. And I don't really know what else to say about it. It was just a really fantastic match. Um, then we get the Women's Casino Battle Royale. A ton of women in it. I'm not going to go through every single person. Uh, Ruby Soho made her debut here and get the she got the win. Two stars for this. The Battle Royale is never a fun match to kind of... It's sometimes they work, other times they don't. And for AEW, I just feel that the Battle Royale has never really worked, but this one was okay, two stars, but Ruby Riot, Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho getting our debut in AEW was fantastic. Um, her getting the win as well was fantastic. I hope we see her and Thunder Rosa do a little feud. I think that'll be, again, another word to say, fantastic. Um, yeah, it, it was cool seeing her there. Um, she just came out, she looked happy, and it was awesome. The final fight, MGF versus Chris Jericho. Jericho gets the win, 2.5. Do like, I'm not really sure why Jericho got the win here. Obviously, I'm, I don't know that you don't want him to retire yet. Uh, but I don't know what it done for MGF, him taking the lose here. Are they going to go on and face each other again? Or I don't really know what's going to kind of go for there. But it was a good match all the way through it. MGF using some of Jericho's stuff because he thinks he's better than him. It was fantastic. Uh, CM Punk versus Darby Allen. CM Punk gets a win. CM Punk had cool tights on. Um, now, before he had those kind of 
board shorts on, then he went to WWE and he had like the pants, and then now he's got like, it's like he's different eras, do you know what I mean? And this one was very, very cool. I really liked the simplistic style of it. Um, this match was great. I say three stars. Alan really worked his arse off here to make this one a fun one to watch. I think you could see a little bit of, no ring rust, but just a little bit of, I've not done this in a long time, from CM Punk. Um, it's cool he was able to stop a little, let Alan get his moves in. But this was fun. A really, really fun one. And Punk had to get the win here, didn't he? You couldn't have gave it to Alan. This then could build into something better in the future. Another couple of matches. We're letting it play out. But it was fantastic. Paul White versus QT Marshall. I'm not going to rate this. Paul White gets a win. I don't even know why it was really there. Why did QT did he upset so many people? <laughs> then we get the AEW World Championship. Kenny Omega versus Christian Cage. Three stars here. A great match, but I didn't believe Cage was going to get the win. Which is shit, because that's the one thing that hurt this year. But it was a great match. And then we get Adam Cole coming out that I popped like a little girl for. Um, fantastic, fantastic match. Sorry, a fantastic come out. Um, he's with his friends Kenny Omega. He's on their side, so he's going to be a heel. I really enjoy it. I'm... The matches that he can have in this, Adam Cole, CM Punk, Adam Cole, Darby Allen, against Miro, eventually against Adam Page, eventually he's probably going to get Adam Cole against uh, Kenny Omega as well, and then the lights go out, and well, just as Omega's doing his little thing, it goes a little bit darker, Daniel Bryan comes in, and I popped. Now, is Gizono? I'm no a big WrestleManiacs UK will be able to tell you. We had this conversation when we done the podcast. I don't really like Daniel Bryan, but I popped for this when he came out. It was cool. It was fun. He's coming out as a baby face. We're probably going to get him against Omega. Then we've got him against Cole as well. We've got a bunch of guys that we can get him against. And uh, it's going to be fantastic. It's just so fun to see. And the big one is we would probably want to see here is him against Punk at some point as well. But overall, four stars. I had fun. I had fun watching this, which is so rare to see in wrestling at the minute. With WWE, the pay-per-views are always good. The weekly shows aren't the best, but I had fun watching this. And I, t- I don't know what else to say. Like Adam Cole, Brian coming out was great. We're going to be getting a ton of matches. Ruby, Ruby Soho. I keep going to call her Ruby Riot. Ruby Soho being here was fantastic as well, we've got CM Punk, the talent that AEW have got just now, and all eyes are on them, it's their contest to fuck up now, now they need to be on the ball for everything they're getting, because people want to pick them apart, and I, I do a lot of comparisons between, and I've said it on the podcast as well guys, is WCW and AEW seem to be going the same way a little bit, well, when WCW buying these people in, AEW's been doing it, the one thing I want to say is, it's not a bad comparison to have between WCW and their prime and AEW and their prime. AEW have a lot of better aspects to it than what WCW does and I'm excited to see what happens on Wednesday. I cannot wait to see Malachi Black against Dustin Rhodes. I can't wait to see Adam Cole, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Darby Allen, Sting. All these guys come out on Wednesday and just kill it. It's going to be amazing the game's changed and CEW, like I said, they're game to lose and they're going to be putting up a fight now and we're going to be seeing WWE scrambling. They've got the new NXT coming out, which I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do with it. But is it going to be great? It's taking away what we loved about NXT. Do you know what I mean? Now you've got AEW there. I, I, this Wednesday, I think they might be able to beat SmackDown's or Smackdown's the one after SummerSlam you could what 1.5 million maybe they, they could eclipse Raw here the, this Wednesday's Dynamite with Brian Cole Ruby CM Punk uh, all of these guys could eclipse Raw and I think that'll be insane if it does we'll see WWE changing quite a lot um, but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's review like I says videos just now will be a little bit 
maybe a little bit later or earlier. I'll try and keep the content coming up as much as possible. I'm training a lot just now, so it's, I'm a lot focused on training at the minute. But the content shouldn't get affected. If it does, I'll obviously keep you guys in the know and stuff like that as well. Anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you back here. In fact, I'll actually see you back here later for my Monday night, Monday night Wars retro review. See you later, guys.